Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing a Pam Anderson inspired makeup look. Yay! We're going to be doing Pam Anderson, but she's going to have a little bit of a Frankenstein twist to her, just so that anyone really wants to kind of dress as Pam for Halloween, because let's be honest, her style's fairly iconic, and people will be like, you don't look spooky enough. This is how you win, basically. You get to be Pam and be spooky at the same time. Um, I really need to be careful with these Halloween makeups because I'm getting married in less than a week. <laughs> and the last look I did, I ended up with like a bit of a rash on my face. Good old trusty Prit Stick. I swear my last three videos have started off with me using Prit Stick to cover my brows. Um, I know a lot of people prefer like the Elmer's glue. I've just never had much luck with that. So I'm combing the Prit Stick through my uh, brows. I'm just pushing all the brows upwards to flatten them out. I don't have like really heavy brows so I don't need to do anything like too intense and um, if you've got really full brows you might want to google like an actual brow blocking tutorial and then you're gonna just remove all of the excess glue with a little bit of water just a can of water whenever I'm doing looks I always have a little spray bottle with some water in because trust me it makes your life so much easier. Setting over the top of that with some of my Laura Mercier powder. <laughs> That's my impression of the French accent. That was awful. You can apply a bit of colour corrector if you want, but I'm just going to go straight over with the Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer Concealer. That is a mouthful for a dyslexic gal. I'm just painting this on. Now I look like Jeffree Star, but let's just like do the rest of the makeup. The look that I'm kind of recreating is the um, Barb Wire look. This is the style look that I'm going to be creating. And if I zoom in on her eyes, you can see she's kind of got this blacky blue look going on. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm taking the Vive stick in the shade Raven. I love these sticks. They're just great. And I'm just going to apply this as a base over my entire eyelid and soften that out. You in? Why are you so far away? Come closer. I'm just pulling it out to imitate that shape that was on the poster. I'm also applying just a little bit inside my eye. Using the Sculpted by Amy palette. This is a fabulous palette by the way. Um, but I'm gonna use this color desert so it's kind of like this peachy orangey brown and i'm gonna apply this into my socket line with a fresh fluffy brush oh, i'm adding a dark brown into the crease just to darken it up so that the black blends a little bit nicer into that color this was the 90s so like it really wasn't blended that well so you can really kind of go to town on this and make it like super glam and blended um but for those of you who like aren't overly confident at makeup this will work just fine for you because it does not have to be perfect i'm just gonna add a smidge of black from my novena palette just going back into that crease I'm trying to keep this a little bit messier just because we are doing like a monster version. So I prefer the eyes to be like a little bit more grungy. I'm using the Suva Beauty Hydro Liner. This is in the shade Blue Steel and I'm doing a blue liner across my lid. Okay, so this is our eyes done. My green paint, I'm going to be using the Snazaru Lime Green. Let's see how we get on with this colour. I like to wet the face paint directly with a little bit of water spray and then dip a sponge in. But to build this up, I will be applying highlight and contour so there'll be loads of opportunities to adjust this colour to get it perfect. Um, but basically, you just want to start off with a mid green so nothing too light and nothing too dark. This is a great colour for Shrek. <laughs> I feel like I feel like my camera can't hack how green this is because it looks so pale but like in real life I look like an actual like neon monster. We'll just have to go with it and hope that it all balances back out. So I've just got some white cream face paint and mixed it in with a little bit of green. I'm gonna start to highlight and contour in the usual areas also going to take some Krylin crown white 
and just really enhance bits of this highlight especially like this kind of forehead nose area just keeping this nice and wide here keeping a little point on the nose it's just going to help get that Pam Anderson feel I'm using the Mulac seal the deal white loose powder I'm going to set this smells amazing um, I'm going to set everywhere that is currently wet, essentially. I've actually Amazon Primed a prop and um, outfit to go with this look. And I'm hoping, I'm praying that it arrives on time today. But I am going to have to get up and answer the door like this. Novena Volume 6 palette. This is great. I love this palette. Um, so it has got two greens in. I'm going to go in with the bright green first and just start to contour all of the places that I would usually contour. Now going in with the dark green over the top just to really create that definition. Over any bits that look patchy or that like don't blend... You just want to pat over with the sponge with a little bit of that cream colour still left on it. Hopefully the colour looks a little bit, a little bit better on screen. I just think like it's really throwing my camera off like how green I look. Okay, so now for Pam's nose, we're just going to add a little bit of contour. We're just adding a little bit of contour either side of my nose, just keeping this top bit quite wide um, because that's what hers is like. Getting a tiny bit slimmer coming towards the point and really emphasising the tip. Adding some white shadow just to help everything blend in and to highlight the nose. And then I'm going to add this white shadow underneath the eyes and some other places as well. You know what's so funny about this look is that I completely forgot that I was only going to do the green on one section of my face and I just got a bit carried away I've only just I've literally only just realized but it's fine we'll go with it we'll do like a full Frankenstein now I'm going to do some of the Frankenstein kind of cuts so I've got some red face paint and I think I'm just going to do like some randomly I've kind of gone from thinner and then gone thicker in the middle Again, thinner, being really gentle with my brush and then applying more pressure and then applying lighter pressure and that's what gets you those different levels of thickness. I can confirm that my Pam outfit has arrived. So I'm now using the black. I'm now using the black around the edges of the red. Go around the edges but just leave a really small gap and you just want to use that contour shade to add some definition around these cuts. Okay, using the other end of your brush we're going to draw some dots. So it's going to be either side of these cuts and then we're going to be doing like the stitches. Now using a white face paint I'm going to draw on the stitches. I'm curving mine upwards to make them appear more 3D. Now for my lips, I'm going to use the Vive Lip Liner in the shade Rouge Rouge. Or Rogue, Rogue Rouge. I don't know, I can't tell. <laughs> the lips, I used a deeper pink and then I went over the top with a shimmer. Typical Pam Anderson skinny brow. But I'm just going to mark it out with a tiny bit of green shadow first before going over the top. So you just want to kind of do like a rainbow shape and then just use a bit of black eyeshadow to go over the shape so i'm just gonna pop some lashes on paint my body green and do my hair costume and all of that and i'll be back with the finished look hey so here is the finished look i decided to add some red contact lenses because if you've been watching my halloween videos for a while you'll know that contact lenses finish off any look so make sure you do get them for halloween i've got some leather oh shit i've got some leather gloves and then also 
this like top and this is how I have painted my body. I've added like this black stripe into my hair just to kind of feed into that Frankenstein hair with a lot of blonde voluminous hair like Pam. I'm gonna attach some photos at the end of this tutorial so you guys can see the colouring um, a little bit better in its true light because it still looks really weird on camera. Yeah, All the products that I use will be linked down below and make sure you check out my other videos because I have loads of Halloween ones up and I'm doing a new video every single Sunday so yeah that's all for now and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! What am I doing? Do you remember that song that was about washing windows? Washing windows. Check out the other channel.